In this video, I want to show you how you can perform linear regression analysis easily using the new linest DAX function in Power BI. We're going to go through what it is, what it's used for, and a breakdown of how you write and calculate this in Power BI. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So linear regression is a type of analysis that lets you predict a value based on another variable. If you have enough sample data sets that shows a certain pattern or trend, you can use this calculation to predict what the value would be if it followed the same trend. Let's go through a quick example so that you can see how and when you'd use this type of analysis. So here we are in my Power BI report. It's quite empty at the moment. I've only got one table here, the salary table, which outlines a certain salary based on the years of experience that a person has got. I've got this through Kaggle. If you want to download it, I'll leave it in the description box below. And what we want to do is to try to understand some trends or analyze this using linear regression. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag in the salary and years of experience. We're going to put this into a scatter plot just so that we can visualize it. And then under the values, I'm just gonna get a count of all of these. And as you can see, let me just swap these around. As you can see, there is a clear pattern here, a clear trend showing that there is a certain correlation between the numbers of uh, years of experience and the salary that these employees get. Now, you can see that we have some information up to 10 years, people that have 10 years of experience. But what if you wanted to know what the salary would be if they follow the same trend for those that have 20 years of experience? This is the type of question that the linear regression analysis answers. Now, there's already a formula covered by Ruth over at Kerbal.com, which explains the whole formula and how to calculate the linear regression. However, since she's uploaded that about three years ago, Power BI team has released the Linest and Linest X functions, which makes your lives a lot simpler if you want to calculate it in Power BI. So to not make it too complicated, a linear regression, there is a basic formula that you can use to calculate this, which is, I believe it's y is equals to mx plus b. y and x are the coordinates that you have. m is the slope and b is your y-intercept. Now the m, now the slope and the intercept used to be variables that you need to calculate manually before you can use it in your linear regression calculation. Now with the new linest function, you don't even need to calculate those. It calculates it for you as long as you have your X and Y coordinates. So let's have a look at the documentation for the linest function. Now there's uh, two variants for this linest function, the linest, the normal one, and the X variant, which is the, um, the function that lets you iterate through rows in this context, similar to other functions like average X, sum X, these kind of functions. So let's have a look at this. So it says that it uses the least squares method to calculate a straight line that best fits the given data, then returns a table describing the line. The data result from expression evaluated for each row in a table. The equation for the line is of the form y is equals to slope times one, slope times two, plus intercept. So this is the sort of calculation that we will leverage for today. There's some syntax here and some parameters. There's a lot of examples here that you can use, but I want to show you in a demo so that we can simplify it a little bit. So let's go back to our example here. So the first thing that maybe what we can do is to start and visualize what the Linux actually returns. So since it returns a table and not a single value, instead of creating a new measure, we're going to start to show I'm going to show it first on a table so you can visualize what we're going to do next in a measure. So I'm going to name it tests and we're going to give it linest. So you will use linest X, which will give it three different expressions here. So the table is our only table. Expression Y is our salary. And the X is the years of experience. Now I'm using the measures here, which is just uh, measures that I've pre-created in advance. And they are simply just um, adding up the salaries and years of experience. So as you can see, sum 
and then here summing the years of experience. It's just so that we can use them in a sort of measure context. So this is what the linest function returns. It gives you basically a table with a lot of different calculations and uh, that you might want to use in your linear regression. There's only two things though that we are interested in here, the slope and the intercept. So these two, along with our X and Y coordinates is what we'll need to use to perform our linear regression. So let's go back to our report here. Let's create a new measure. I'm going to name this uh, salary linear regression. We're going to do exactly the same thing that we did in the table, except that we're going to wrap it in a, in a variable. So I'm going to name it linest, linest x. I'm going to give it salary. And then same thing, total salary, total years of experience, and close. Next, we want to uh, take out the scope and the intercept from that table. So we're going to create one first scope. Sorry, I meant slope. So we're going to use the function select columns to get it out of this, um, this Linus table that we've created. So we're going to select the, that table. And then we're simply going to refer to that uh, slope one column from that from that table. Now it's going to give you a squiggly line. I'm not sure why this is, uh, but it's let, let's let, let me just show you because I'm not sure why the intelligence doesn't really recognize it, but it is there. So if you hit enter, you'll see that you won't get an error. You just drag it in here, you'll see that you'll get a value. You just get at a squiggly line to that makes you think that you've written something incorrect, but no, that's not the case. And slope one, I know what to write there because we looked at it here in our preview table. So um, this test table has slope one as a column, and that's basically what we want to get from that calculation. So we want slope one as well as intercept. So let's continue writing our linear regression here. I'm going to create another variable here. I'm going to call it intercept. Same thing, select columns from the linists. And then I believe it's spelled like this. There we go. So close that. There we are. All right. So now we can actually get into the actual calculation of the linear regression. So let's go to the return. Let's delete all of that. Now let's do intercept plus slope multiplied by total years of experience. And that's it. So that's pretty much all the calculation that you need. Um, so now what it does is it gives you the salary based on the total years of experience that you put in this part of the calculation. So let's say for 20 years of experience, this is what you would get as a salary. If you continue this trend going upwards, 213,000. Now uh, you can change those values. So you can go back to that and change it to uh, 15 and it will give you some uh, salary here. If we can go a bit lower to somewhere in the same range as what we're showing here on the screen. So for eight years of experience, that's 100,000 in salary, which roughly looks about right. So that kind of is the best fit for our calculation here. Now, it doesn't look and it doesn't feel that sophisticated, but this calculation is actually really interesting. What you can do from here is to give the ability to change this what if scenario by adding a parameter instead. So let's do that. So let's add a parameter that lets you change the years of uh, experience. So I believe it should be under modeling, new parameter, numeric range. So years of experience, we're going to give it the zero to 30 years, let's say an increment of one. So we'll create that. So it gives you a little drag and drop bit here that lets you adjust the years of experience. And then uh, let's hook it up with our calculation here. So instead of hard coding the number here, we'll just go and get the years of experience from our parameter. Here you go. So now as you change this number, 
so does the uh, prediction as well. And that's it. And that's really it for this video. I hope you're now a little bit more familiar with how you can use linear regression in Power BI. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I have to do better for next time. Ask questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really liked this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.